the sheriff. She's a southern girl married to a Mammy Chapman was a maid servant. Howard was a woman. She went by her name. Daniel Hunley was a I'm out here because I had the opportunity to participate in the cemetery show. I've visited, I've been to the stroll before, but never, never even dreamed that I'd be a character. And so um, I met a member of the board and he invited me to participate. And so I love challenges, so here I am. Who are you portraying? I am portraying Mammy Chapman. And Mammy Chapman was a maid servant for Governor Chapman and his family. And she's buried actually here in the cemetery in the family plot. Um, she traveled with the family throughout their history. Governor Chapman, of course, has a very interesting history that he shares. And the family insisted that Mammy be buried here. And so it's a great tribute to the family. He was appointed to sheriff in 1809, six days after this was proclaimed a county by the governor of the Mississippi Territory, long before we became a state. We made, this was Madison County, the first county of the Mississippi Territory. And it was proclaimed by the governor because there were so many settlers moving in here. After John Hunt came in 1805, from 1805 to 1808, three, three years, thousands of settlers were coming into this area. So he proclaimed it a, a county. Thomas Freeman came down and started surveying the borders between the, the Cherokees and the Chicksaws, and so, about 500 square miles became Madison County and I was a sheriff sent here to establish some law and order. Uh, Mr. Freeman was a, an Irishman. He came to the United States uh, in 1784. Uh, he, uh, just shortly after he got here, he uh, met a gentleman that was, would play a big role in his life by the name of George Washington. They were both surveyors and they had, uh, had a lot in common. He actually went to work for Mr. Washington and worked for him up until 1787. So in 1807, he was sent here originally to survey the boundaries between the Chickasaws and the Cherokee, the treaty lines, which he did. And then after that, Mr. Freeman actually established the initial point for the Huntsville Meridian, which today, even today, is the basis of all surveys here in North Alabama and some small parts of, of Mississippi. Susan Bradley Johnson is married, she's a southern girl married to a Union general. So that's why she's here today, to tell that all the Union troops were not so bad. You know, Yankees coming in our land, you know, they, they were friendly, they were here to just do their job, but she happened to fall in love with a Union general. So her father supported it, her mother was not so thrilled about it, but he was a good man, and so she's here to tell his story. I've done it about three times, so this is my third time portraying her. I got involved through a co-worker, Robert Reeves, and I think it's a neat event to bring the past to life, to show how many neat people are buried here. Howard was a woman. She went by her middle name. She never married. She was a teenager during the Civil War. She uh, moved from Huntsville during the Civil War period, uh, but returned to Huntsville, where she continued to live for the rest of her life. Uh, never, never married. Historically, Howard Whedon is very important, not only to Huntsville, but to the world. She was one among the first illustrators and artists of her day who began to depict African Americans with um, uh, kindness and with a disposition to understand where they were coming from. Um, many of the artists of her day, uh, for those uh, who published in um, the various editions of Uncle Tom's Cabin, those artists were caricaturizing African Americans. Howard knew that she could do better. She knew these people and loved them. And after um, visiting the Columbian Exposition where she saw that kind of artwork, she convinced, was convinced that she could do better. So she returned to Huntsville and she did many, many portraits in watercolor of people whom she knew and they her. She invited them into her front parlor and there she drew their likeness as well as recorded their uh, dialect, their, their manner of speech. And she reproduced these portraits and these voices in four published volumes of poetry and portraits uh, during the last 10 years of her life. Those portraits went worldwide to Paris, to Berlin. She brought the eyes of the world to Huntsville to better understand a race of people. 
Daniel Hunley was a colonel in the 31st Infantry Regiment of Alabama during the war between the states. Uh, he was captured at the Battle of Franklin and sent to a prisoner of war camp in Johnson Island, Sandusky, Ohio. He uh, had a habit of writing a, a diary, which he later on uh, turned it into a book, uh, Prison Echoes, that is housed in the Madison County Library to this day. It's in the back room because it's kind of in disrepair, but he did that. Uh, he did a uh, escape up there trying to get out and was caught. Uh, but they allowed him to cover the southern accent, that's how they caught him. But they allowed him to uh, have breakfast, a big breakfast, before they sent him back. And then after that, uh, it was like rations of rats. Uh, he had a, a, a terrier that he uh, had up there, that he, and th that terrier would go out and get the, the, the rats, and that's what they actually ate to survive on. Many atrocities were uh, attributed to the southern at, uh, at different prisoner of war, Andersonville, say, but it was far more worse up there. One thing is the Pilgrim Association doing what they do to raise money to restore the headstones. Uh, the other fact is a uh, native Huntsvillian and actually uh, Colonel Daniel Hunley is a great great grandfather of mine. So I'm honored to be out here and do, to be asked to do. I think the Pilgrim Association does a wonderful job and the people of the city of Huntsville and surrounding that come out and visit this are really in for a treat uh, with all the characters that are giving their time to, to do this. Mm -hmm.